Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to us finishing The Bear Season 1. Today we're going to be doing two episodes in this video, 7 and 8, which I believe are the final two episodes of Season 1. Now before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And check out some of my videos. We do reactions, we do a little bit of gaming on this channel, and sometimes we even do movies or show reviews. Just recently I released a two movie review in one video for Gran Turismo and Blue Beetle, which I think are kind of surprise movies of the packed movie summer of 2023. So if you're interested in that, check out those reviews. I'd really appreciate that. But yes, today we're back here with the bear. And uh, last time out, we had a surprise John Bernthal cameo, a surprise and an extremely welcomed one. And we got to understand Richie more, or at least I got to understand Richie more here. Richie, uh, you know, he lost his best friend. Everything around him is changing. Chicago is changing. And he's struggling with that change, but he is but it looks like he's going to welcome it now because he what is this? Because I think just like everybody else, he's gonna start to understand that this place needs to succeed somehow and in order for it to succeed somehow, they all need to embrace change. Just like you know, Tina is embracing change now, you know what I mean? It all started with the system and now they got a new system. So things are rolling here. And uh, yeah, again, if you enjoy these reactions, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. That helps out a lot. And let's go start with the bear. Who has we get an intro on the stage of the metro as the Christmas unicorn. We've never gotten this before, right? The, the episodes just start. Different feel for this episode. Shout out to that editor though, because editing is very important in this uh, in this show. Once again, more emphasis on Chicago and how uh, and how it's potentially going to start changing and how it's been changing through the history. Which is why we have chose to revisit the beef of Chicagoland, a river north staple. Long, long Sick. Are we going to get a review? 20 minutes to and open, chef. Chef. You set up? Uh, yes, chef. Okay. Go. Okay. And it's clear more changes are coming. Changes just like Chicago is changing. This was the risotto with braided beef. The rice was luscious with a surprising... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not supposed to... The risotto beef is not supposed to be on the menu, is it? Chef. It was. It's all good. It's all good. Um, okay. So, you know... It was an accident. The thing she gave to the guy, the guy turned out to be a reviewer. Wow, that's crazy. Yo. Louis got suspended. Louis, apologize to Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. Sure, Tina. Today, the day we're running the new program. Um, Chef Sidney, you got that, right? <laughs> yeah. Has this all been one take? I, I think that was all one take of an intro. Doing dumb shit is not interested in anything. So you brought him here? here. Claro que sí. Maybe he finds a love for cooking or sweeping the kitchen. Maybe that's his passion. What's the pickup on risotto? Feel like that's kind of crazy, right? We're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. 15 minutes to open. Wow, you're not even going to do that? But that guy raved about it. Now everybody's going to go there and order it. Gave a dish that's not on the menu to a guy who happened to be a food critic. It's just, it's hard to digest. Sydney, box it. He's always instigating. I'm going to turn on the to-go's in 10 minutes. So we're gonna count off, all right? Oh, to go? Oh, we're doing to go orders now. Okay. No, nope. faster. Yeah, How many? Just a little behind. I'm gonna catch up. Marcus, if you're still fucking with those donuts right now, I'm gonna fuck your day up. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chef. Marcus, you gotta focus more, man. I know you're obsessed with the donuts. Good Bravo! All right, boss lady. This has been an episode of long takes, hasn't it? Hmm, I like that. But article is gonna bring Sorry, in. um, are you the new face of the working man? Right. Richie, congrats, that is huge. <laughs> we uh, make food in the restaurant. We all try to do a good job. I don't know about you, but anyway, people come and they buy their food with money. I like that she matches his energy. By the way, those OGs you love waxing on Jesus and on about Christ. all come here, split one sandwich in a free cup of water, and then uh, treat okay. the rest of us like so this shit. Is a the end is that I was telling Richie that we are learning how to use the tablet, and it's good, and it's good for business. Oh my god, they got the tablet. Once you order at this place, they're gonna take the tablet, spin it around towards you, and the tip thing is gonna come up. That's when they're gonna be like 400% tip. Oh. to go when they're coming in. Dude, that dish wasn't fucking ready. What does this have to do with Jeff, stop! Stop! 
Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be chaos. Get them searing, roasting, peanuts, We don't have sausages, that much burgers, stuff, do we? Dogs, everything on the grill, fire everything right fucking now! I am loving these long takes. Oh my god. Uh, get in there. Getting there? What the fuck do you... Marcus, what the fuck are you doing still working on this shit? Yo, yeah, what the big of a deal? What is this? Check! Um, oh I god. am, um, oh god. I'm doing them in five, basically. I'm no, gonna no. order... The orders are still coming in, holy shit. Hey, 12 breakfast, <laughs> 12 mash, fucking now. Holy shit, wow, I need a breather. Oh my god, we're back. Corner. You didn't say corner. Fuck you, don't, you Richie. You don't need to curse at me. It's a record of F-bombs today. Yeah. Chef, you okay? Yeah, I'm fucking okay. Aw, oh, Tina looking out for her, because they're friends now. Get me a fucking Sharpie that fucking works! <laughs> <laughs> But we are raking in the business. Oh, I'm sorry. You're extra fucking confusing the name. Sharpie! Someone get this man a Sharpie! All I have is a pencil next to me. Don't yell at me. You want to talk about fucking ugly? Richie, you are a loser. You're a loser. No, Richie, yeah. you're the... Uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not liking this energy, okay? I'm not liking this energy from Sydney anymore. Everybody knows it. I know Fuck it. off, I Sydney. Know that your daughter probably knows it, poor fucking girl. No, 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 no. You're gonna fucking stand Maybe me? Maybe I fucking will. Yeah. Jordan Era, shut the fuck up! Thank you. I, I figured out what I was doing wrong. You know, I was trying to make a... No, 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 not the time for this, Marcus. Huh? Get the fuck back to work! Move! Oh, shit. Everybody! Oh, fucking idiots! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, what was this episode? Did she stab oh, Ibram, her? Ibra, I got stabbed. She actually stabbed... Don't I don't know, like the I'm energy that she's on. Good. Uh, Good? Sweeps? 37, chef. Keep yeah. going. I just realized that the long take is still going. Like, when they cut to black and they come back from commercial, it's still going in the same shot. If this wasn't on network television, I'm watching this on Hulu right now. If this wasn't on network television, it would just be a continuous episode. Many civilians will kill it. Muhammad Farah Adid would not cooperate. Someone answer that goddamn phone, please. It's been ringing for, like, since episode one. Marcus. Marcus, what's going on, man? They've, they're, they're all defeated. They're all defeated. We lost. Where are you going? Are you leaving? Nice what shoot. What the fuck are you talking about? Right now? quit. You quit right now. <laughs> I really don't like the energy that she's on right now, actually. I take back what I said earlier about her energy. You are an excellent chef. What are you doing? You are also a piece of shit. What are you doing? Okay, that might be true, yeah. Ah. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that. I don't I don't even know what to say anymore, honestly. Like That's the end? Wow, okay, I get it now. I think I get it now. <laughs> Before we go to the next episode, we have to talk about what we just watched. That was chaos just absolute mayhem over here but i love that i love the way they executed that in the beginning i was confused by like why are we doing you know titles now why are all the actors names coming up and you know we're doing like this formal thing now but then at the end there i understood my mind was open to it this episode played out like a play that's why the extreme long take the entire episode. Okay, so without commercials, I, I really, like, okay, I'm watching this on Hulu, right? And I have Hulu without ads. Now, this show came, comes out on FX, which is network television, right? So on network, network television, there would be commercials, obviously. Here on Hulu, I don't know why they do this, why they cut to black when, like, I don't have any ads to play and there isn't any commercials on here. So why are we cutting to black here? I would have loved to see this entire episode without like this two or three times it cuts to black because it cuts to black, but it picks up exactly where the last shot ended because I guess this episode, they were really trying to go for this continuous long take like a play, a very chaotic play of just everything falling apart. And we are going to just jump right back into it with episode eight. This is the end of season one. Let's go and see how we end season one, at least. Oh, so many F words. Oh, my God. If this video is still monetized somehow, I don't, I don't know. Back to the bear. I'm 
Carmen Berzado, and today we're gonna be making B- What is this now? This show is getting unique now. My brother, who is addicted to painkillers, blew his head off on the State Street Bridge! BAM! <laughs> it's better. No letter. No goodbye. Nothing. There is a letter. It's gone. Fuck. It's all just being well. Whoa, the bear is getting a little surreal here. He's cooking again. Shit. Sleep <laughs> cooking again. We know who got a call. Jeez. Hey, bear. Let it rip. I forgot. Um, but before I came to Al Anon, I was a cook. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still a cook. I'm just a different kind of cook, I guess. My brother and I, we would cook a lot together, especially when we were kids. I love the camera placement here. It's like we're, we're sitting in the group. My brother can make you feel confident in yourself. Stupid. He would always say, um, let it rip. And he had this amazing ability. He could just, he could walk into a room and he could take the temperature of it instantly. You know, he could just, he could dial it. It's the power of John Bernthal, baby. That's such a great casting, actually. I had a stutter when I was a kid. I was scared to speak half the time. He does stutter sometimes, right? When he's, like, yelling at people, especially. It's just the whole, like, can you, can you get the, the shit done? Can you, can you go fuck yourself? Like, Everybody thought he was their best friend. You know, he was that, he was that magnetic. As we got older, I, I realized I didn't know anything about him. He stopped letting me into the restaurant a couple of years ago. And I think that just, that flipped this switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you. Watch this. Made this plan where I was gonna go work in all the best restaurants in the world. He was trying to protect them, I feel like. And they used to sell drugs in the back of this place. Like, this is a fantastic monologue. I'm like, so in it. I felt like I could speak through the food. Like I could communicate through creativity and that kind of confidence. I just wanted him to be like, good job. And the more he wouldn't respond, the deeper into this I went and the better I got. And I think it's very clear that me trying to fix the restaurant was me trying to fix whatever was happening with my brother. It means a lot to me. I just don't know if it ever meant anything to him. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to pause right there because I just want to applaud Jeremy White Allen for that monologue. Holy shit. That was, that was like everything. That was emotional, beautiful, impactful. Uh, that was, I was just like everything and the way they, the way they executed that just like right on his, first of all, starting us in the audience. I thought that was great, but then getting up close to him and just leaving us there, just, just leaving us there in that moment. I feel like he could have ended the episode right there. These are the type of scenes that I feel bad for having to cut up sometimes for these reactions for YouTube. If this is how this episode starts, what else do we have in store? You know, like what happens if you get stabbed in the asshole? You can't sew an asshole. I can't believe she actually stabbed him. Bachelor party in the front. Oh, fuck that. Wow. I know, I know. It's Cicero's friends, so. Yo, cause. Business. That's uh, some money off the debt, you know. You see me? Yeah. I'm mining these two are hanging out now? Yeah. Both quit and just hanging out? You know, my head just got real fucked up for a minute. I mean, welcome to the club. Oh, man. When I was at the CIA, the, um, the Culinary Institute of America, not the, you know. Mm hmm. CIA. Yeah, the fact that it's called the CIA is kind of misleading. One of those places was the best meal I ever had. So what was the best one? Wait, one Carby second. made it. Nope. <laughs> so is it like a friend thing, or is it more than a friend thing between them two? You know, you're gonna put them in that setting. Gonna, you know, she's gonna make some food for him. Good music playing. You know. Hey, T, you don't know anything about a uh, KBL Electric. Do you, Mikey, never mention anything about that to you? He was paying these big pieces out every month. It's a lot of money. Adds up to the amount that Cicero loaned him. You know how much I loved him, right? A lot. <laughs> I loved him a lot. Everybody liked the guy. He had great personality. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. He destroyed it like a bitch. He just had orders. He just had so many orders that day. <laughs> I'm going to go back. And we'll hash it out, I guess. UPS is the crazy shit that made me want to do this. They pay drivers a lot nowadays, apparently. I don't know. Knowing me, I'll just probably get a job at another spot. Nope. The beef is the place for you. You got a dream spot? Of course. Like what? I mean, you'll find out when it's open. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. I like that answer. Best what? 
Best meal you ever had. Yeah, it was it was carnies. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so go back to him. Go. Go back to him. You knew he was using? How could you not? <laughs> Just rubbing it in. I should have done more. Hilarious. I mean, he's Mikey Bear. I thought he would pull out of it. Some, what do they say? Sometimes the happiest people are the most depressed or the most sad. Stop breaking. Let's go, Richie. Oh. This took a twist. He better be alive. You better wake up. But I'm saying what happens if he doesn't? He started the fight. You'll be looking at man. Come on. He started the fight. What? Come on. He was trying to break up a fight. But maybe, maybe you shouldn't have hit him, but. Sorry. I know it's late. I just. Uh... Bad news, right? I'm just getting off work. It's been a crazy day. All good, though. I was just thinking about all that shit that went down with your dad. You know, you were right, you know. It was not okay. He used this one phone call to tell his ex-wife things are good. You got lucky. You get charged with aggravated assault. <sighs> for the most part, it's all good. Where'd you get the money for bail? You start two week parachute. We don't have any more money. It's time to go back to work. You okay? Yeah. It's all gonna be okay, Richie. It's all gonna be okay. You're all I got, cuz. Stick together. He's just back. Back like nothing ever happened. I'm so sorry, Chef. Heard Chef. Heard Chef. That's it. That's all we need. It's simple. Do you ever feel sad? Of course I do, Neil. But I don't talk about it. I keep it all inside. It helps me beat the shit out of people. I get it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Just the delivery guy. Take it up a loop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to make it work. There's no beef left. The soundtrack's so intense. Not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. He's gonna burn it all down. Just do it, right? Just rip it. Finally, you're gonna give it to him. Goddamn. Richie, what, what the fuck is this? I didn't really want to give it to you because I meant that he was gone. Um, but, uh... I love how you can see in Carby's face the switch up from like being mad at Richie. He started off being mad to dropping down to sympathetic. I right, will open it up. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he was. What he said. I like that shirt. That shirt's fire. <laughs> Family meal. Spaghetti that he told him he wasn't making. What? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it. Let's see. You threw these out, right? On the episodes, in the first episode. Dude, the ASMR sound designs when he's working Should on it? his pastries. So I got stabbed back there. Yeah, I did. It looked pretty cool. He just got stabbed <laughs> and I like, walked it off and it was kind of, it was pretty tough. <laughs> these guys are such idiots. Great duo, though. Is that... Money? We almost cooked money. Cousin! How did that get up there? He threw one out in the first episode. <laughs> hey, Sydney. Quit fucking around. Grab a can opener. Tasty menu at the bar. Window on the side. For sandwiches. Yeah. Cool. Cool. What do you call it? The bear. Oh, KBL. <laughs> the bear is coming. It's time to move on. Pete's here, the sister's here, the roommate's here, everybody's here. Wow, uh, damn. There was a lot of cans there. There's a lot of money. So I guess they will we'll be able to pay off that debt, but also use the money towards the restaurant. But now I'm so happy that there's a season two that I can just jump to right away because this season was great. 
this show is fantastic. I love the way they play with surreal elements sometimes too, especially when Carmi is dreaming, the whole bear thing, you know. The way this episode started as well. This was a fantastic episode, by the way. The I mean, I got overwhelmed by the money by the end and the way it ended that I forgot that he did that fantastic monologue at the at the meeting in the beginning. Wow, that was crazy. Also, he left the note. I did, the, the note that he left him, it was just about to make the pasta, but then to remind him about the pasta because... The pasta or the spaghetti was uh, like a family recipe, a big family recipe that they talked about in the first episode. And he was like, "We're not making that shit anymore." But he wanted him to. He wanted him to remember that. But then also to note, hey, once you go make it, you're gonna go get the tomato thing, and it's in the tomato cans, okay, buddy? The money is in the tomato cans. So now we're loaded. We're gonna use that money to rebuild this restaurant into the bear, which is, it's a nice way to pay tribute to the brother and to the origin of the restaurant you know what i mean that's still there but also you had to move on from the beef because that's a very literal representation of us moving on past this because mikey and his death were the driving force of this entire season which is a great story element not to even have them in here all that much almost i guess kind of wrap it up there at the end like we have moved on we've accepted it potentially i don't know where season two will start i'm guessing season two is going to be now fully building the bear restaurant and name and making it work uh but like this season maybe we have reconciled with with mikey and his passing or in season two we'll find out where he got all that money from what was all that money about? That will potentially bring more drama, right? So if you enjoyed watching this season with me, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Also, that shows me that you guys are enjoying these videos, and we will continue with season two. We're not done yet, so don't go anywhere. Uh, yeah, I would really appreciate your support, and I will see you guys next time with The Bear Season 2. Peace!